And we are on the eve, at least at the day that this is recorded, on the eve of something pretty significant. ICANN uh, is about to kind of take over control from the U.S. of the DNS, the Domain Naming Service, hmm. uh, the do Domain Naming System. Yeah. And we have uh, Kieran McCarthy, reporter at the Register, on the line to talk to us about that. How's it going, Kieran? It's going well. How are you? Excellent. It's great to have you here today. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Four U.S. states demand restraining order to stop Internet power handover to ICANN. Let's unpack that a little bit. What does that actually mean? Uh, well, it's pretty fast moving. Um, what's happening right now is four U.S. states attorneys have decided to try and stop this from going ahead. It should be going ahead at midnight tonight, tonight being Friday. Um, and basically, the ICANN should take over permanently this contract that's been awarded to it by the U.S. government for 20 years or so. Uh, some people don't like that, and so they are. there was a big push to try and get Congress to defund it so it couldn't go forward, and that fell through. And this is the last ditch attempt to prevent it from happening, uh, and it's going to be heard in in you know in about two hours' time in Texas. Wow! So we're going to hear about that. Obviously, I think you know, based on when we've recorded the show, the decision is going to you know be Have made after rendered. after when we're recording it right now. Yeah. What is the potential effect here? Like, what what are those who are opposing this transition? What are they worried about? So I think. They're concerned, the U.S. government has this role currently, and they're concerned that if uh, that is taken away, that other governments might uh, somehow get in and influence the future evolution of the Internet. It's, a, it's understandable, um, but I don't think it's a, it's a reality. And that's mostly because the domain name system is a little difficult to understand, the way the Internet functions is a little difficult to understand. But for some people view the U.S. government walking away as an opportunity for other governments to walk in. From what I understand and from what I've read about this, uh, kind of leading up to, um, to tomorrow, basically, is that the role that the U.S. has played for the past, well, I don't know, 20 years in its control of the DNS is, they say it's purely administrative and that by handing it over, they're not really giving control of much of anything. It's just kind of like managing it behind the scenes, but they, that doesn't actually influence control over the Internet, which is, you know, and I say that in air quotes. Um, were these concerns... That that um, you know those who are you know worried about this transition were these concerns considered before the U.S. approved this transition in August? Yes. Um, so I mean, the U.S. government specifically said uh, it came up with four main things that had to be sort of met. Four conditions had to be met, and one of them was that other governments would not be able to have control or would not be in a position to decide things. And that's what's happened. Um, it's really it's. It, and if you, if you don't understand how the internet works, this looks terrible. Mm -hmm. If you do understand how it works, then the US government is it's not lying. It's saying that our job is mostly clerical. And it is, right. they, there are all these systems and companies that basically make decisions in the way that they've always made decisions. And the US government has always just simply checked that they've followed those processes. And that's, that's been its role. So that's what all we're effectively talking about, but of course, People are concerned that if you take away that role, then what happens? Um, and the, the sort of organization that will take it over, called ICANN, which is based uh, here in California, uh, people have concerns about that organization. Um, and they're worried that if you take out the US government role, that something terrible could happen. But realistically, it's not going to happen because if ICANN did do any of the things that people fear that it would do, it, it would lose its power almost immediately. Hmm. The internet is not controlled by anyone. You will basically just agree to work together. And if ICANN disrupted that, then they wouldn't work together. And uh, ICANN would lose, by using its power, it would lose its power. <laughs> so well I guess put. that means that, uh, for example, one might be afraid that, uh, that my domain name might be taken away or changed or re restricted in some way. Or that, rerouted in a strange yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. That, that's not but a so concern. That's, yeah, that's the thing. So what people don't don't grasp is that it's not you're not talking about example.com you're talking about dot com right. uh, and then for example Verisign is the organization that, that sort of redirects all the dot com domains this IANA contract is where does dot com go where does dot gov go where does dot uk go and that's the very very top level of the internet so you're not getting down to the level of individual websites and you're certainly not getting anywhere near the level of actual content it's a very sort of top level system um, and if you started making changes, 
people would be would be furious. I mean, it would immediately fall down if you redirected .com. So every single .com went somewhere else. You could have you would have millions of people shouting in 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 five minutes time. So right. it's just not going to happen. There's Torches no and pitchforks. Good <laughs> .com. Yeah. <there's> no good <laughs> Basically. Um, okay, so, I mean, we're going to know all about this here in the coming hours, and definitely once this show is published, you'll be able to kind of go on online and, and find out where this landed. Uh, kind of interesting that it's all happening now. It feels kind of pretty pretty politicized at this point. I mean, it feels like it's very, very much so timed uh, with the upcoming presidential election.